has has fair trade um, had a significant impact in the communities in which the 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 the, the various producers live uh, in Chile? Absolutely. I mean, can you it, give us it, some examples there? Well, um, first of all, we will not have we will not be having this conversation if it would if if it, if it uh, would have not been a the consequence of doing fair trade. This is one thing. And um, examples of that, uh, I'll just give you one, and it's a very concrete example. Last year, by Valentine's Day, I do remember very well the date, I had a producer approach me, which I know since 20 years, and he said to me, uh, you remember my daughter? Yeah, sure, I, re I remember your daughter. The one that goes to university? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know what? She's done with the university, she's finished. Well, congratulations. And he said, uh, yeah, but my daughter showed up with a surprise. Guess what I thought? I thought she was uh, pregnant. Pregnant or husband? Yeah, pregnant. That's what I thought. And well, I just pretend not to, to understand well, what sort of surprise. And he, he said, um, well, we went to this graduation and my, my daughter was called to the front because she was distinguished as the best student of her class. Wow, congratulations. I uh, kind of looked at the man and, he, and his eyes was kind of kind of wet. He said, but there's something I want to tell you. What would that be? Uh, I want to thank you. Why me? Because you came here when you were, when you were a kid. Yeah, that could be possible. And you told us that we should have hope because we have this possibility of doing fair trade. And if we bought into this idea of, the idea of having hope, we might be able to we might be able to handle hope to our kids. And I really believed you, so I just want to say thank you so much. You have you know to thank me. It's 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 all of us. But this is a very concrete example. And you know, most of the time when we talk about fair trade. We just highlight the fact that um, people might have water, people might have electricity, might have a, might, might have um, education, but I think we have to see it as a process. And in the case of Apicorp, I think we're capable of saying by today that 95% of the son and daughters of the people which we started 30 years ago, 95% have finished high school and their parents only made it until fourth grade. And even more, we know by today that we have, we have, and I feel that we have 200 kids at, at university level. Now, if you ask me which has been the impact of fair trade, I'm not going to say it's all due to that. But one thing for sure, they have a very strong stepping stone to rely that we have at least a guarantee that we have a market, we have an opportunity for our production that comes from the honey. But they are a very concrete example. Thank you. That was that was very nice. Um, uh, lastly, Chino, um, we've we've talked about Appy Co-op and about fair trade in general, but you're here today at the office of Shared Interest. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how you became a customer of Shared Interest and and um, the the what you've done with uh, the the lending facilities that have been provided by Shared Interest? Mm -hmm. Well, um, as far as I can remember, uh, we approached share interest something like 10 years ago. I think we heard about share interest while being somewhere in Mexico attending a, a B Congress, small producers. Yeah, and uh, we managed to come to Newcastle to visit Tradecraft and pay our very first visit to see what we could do. So we learned about what was it about and the possibilities we had. The following year we showed up with the project uh, we want to buy a truck, had half of the money, and um, yeah, share interest, lended us the money for what we were missing. It was quite a nice uh, process because in those days, share interest would lend money on a one-year base, which we thought was, was not long enough. So we started talking, it was not easy convincing because, uh, I mean, there was no previous relationship. At the end, we had the, the opportunity to pay something like in two, two or three years. I think was the very first time share interest started lending money. And what we understand was a long-term, yeah, and almost based on trust, since we had also Tradecraft, Tradecraft backing us, I think that made our way easier. So that was our that was our first approach. 
since then every once in a while we've been uh, requiring money for for instance upgrading our honey plant which was really a room when we bought it and recently uh, the blueberry project has been uh, mostly built on a, a credit of three hundred fifty dollars that we have had from share interest and now we're starting to repay and the reason why I'm here now is because we have a plan B excellent well um, hopefully next year you can tell us about Plan B and um, how that's how that project has taken off and, and the impacts that it's having. So, Chino, thank you very much for your time today. I really appreciate it. It's been very nice to speak with you. Thank you, Patrick.